hello viewers so today I'm gonna show you uh, how I made this tachometer using IR LED IR receiver uh, in fact IR photodiode I must, I must say and a regular Arduino Uno now let's take a look at the sketch that I've used so I'm writing the output to the serial monitor that's why in setup we just start the serial monitor or uh, like start the serial communication I mean in the loop first of all I read the zeroth analog pin if the value is greater than 50 uh, we enter this block of program now f the value 50 has been found by trial and error but whenever uh, the white part or uh, white paper or any reflective thing comes over the IR, IR LED, the value jumps to something around uh, 120 and when there is nothing in front of it the value is around 3 to 5 that's why I choose 50 as the threshold now this statement marks the as you can say that the reflective part is over the LED now once the reflective part or I, I'll use white paper so when, once the white paper is over the LED I take the reading of the microseconds that has been passed since the start of the program now the second while loop says that uh, uh, like it will keep on looping until analog read of A0 like the uh, voltage on A0 is not uh, less than 50 so as the voltage drops uh, like the reading drops below 50 it signifies that uh, uh, the white part or the reflective part of the paper has left uh, like has moved out of the region where the LED was uh, where the photodiode was responding okay now the other one the other while waits like it keeps on looping until the paper doesn't come back it comes back to the previous position and when this happens the second reading is taken so t2 minus t1 gives the difference of uh, time between the first uh, arrival of the white paper and the second arrival so that's basically the time difference of one revolution now this is the parameter the t2 minus t1 is the parameter for our uh, defined function out which is defined over here it says that uh, which calculates the frequency using this thing which is later printed to the um, serial monitor and lastly there's a 1500 millisecond delay so that we don't get lot, lots and lots of readings so now I'm gonna check this uh, the sketch of ours I already uploaded it the sensor system is very simple uh, I'll try to upload the schematics of it uh, just a second yeah so now I'll go and open the serial monitor and let's see what do we get now here's my motor with the paper attached to it so that we can get some sort of uh, reading with a 9 volt battery the battery is all almost dead so you won't get good rpm so let's see yeah so we got a couple of values yeah. so now you can see it is around 110 now the 2.53 value is because uh, my motor had hit the photodiode IR photodiode and that's why there might have been some uh, false value so 
make sure like if you want to use it permanently then make it on a PCB or something which is uh, more sturdy so let's do it again the last value was 110 now we have got 108 and if you take many values then you'll get a pretty accurate value now the battery is dying This 115 turned out to be an anomaly, but that happens. That's why it's better to take the average so that you get the best reading. And now the RBM has significantly dropped. Uh, let's take this lithium ion battery from a mobile phone. Let's check what RBM can it go up to. can already feel it's very fast just a second turned out to be 156 then 137 and dropped down because I uh, stopped the motor let's do it again yeah, so it's around 127. Oh, that's excellent agreement between two readings. <sighs> so, it's pretty much it. Now, the problem with this thing is that uh, we have used analog read function in the sketch and according to the website of Arduino the analog read function takes about 100 microsecond to refresh the value that means that uh, the frequency is limited to at a maximum of 60 th uh, no not 60 it's around 10,000 yeah so 10,000 hertz is the maximum frequency that we can measure but obviously it, the limit would be a little less than this because we have also used the while functions and if functions that uh, require additional time delay so I'd put it roughly around say 6000 uh, so if we say that uh, the maximum frequency is 6000 hertz so in rotations per minute we can say that it is going to be uh, just a sec 3,60,000 rpm so that's the maximum frequency like it's not accurate but just a rough uh, you can say a rough limit of what the what is the maximum frequency we can measure also the program returns the frequency in hertz that is rotations per second uh, if you want in uh, per minute the rotations per minute then you can multiply the frequency by 60 and you'll get the uh, ro uh, frequency in rotations per minute so that's it hope you like it if you have any queries, just comment it. I'll definitely get back to you. Thank you.